Albania is a country in southeastern Europe with a surface area of 28,748 square kilometers. It borders Greece, Macedonia, Kosovo, and Montenegro, and is only 70 kilometers by sea from Italy. Famous Albanians include Gerg Kostriati Skanderbeg and Mother Teresa. Having lived in different periods and having done different works, they're very close to each other through their message on what Albania was and what it should be. Gerg Kostriotti united Albanians in their struggle to resist an international power on behalf of the European civilization. He wrote some important pages in the history of Albania and Christendom. Today, the three and a half million Albanians of the Republic of Albania are just the central piece of a mosaic of six million Albanians living in the Balkans, a very dynamic part of a 56 million people regional market. More than in any other country in the region, communities of different religious beliefs have lived in unique harmony in Albania. 50% of the population in Albania is under 30. One in four people in Albania has a university degree and thousands of young people graduate from the country's educational system each year. While there are several universities in Albania, there is a current massive trend of studying abroad, particularly in Western countries. Young graduates that receive their degrees in the USA, Italy, France and Germany have increased the human potential and standards in the labor market significantly. The capital of Albania is Tirana, the most important metropolis in the country. Tirana has become the focal point of the majority of the Albanian human energies. Tirana is growing rapidly, and it is beyond doubt one of the most dynamic capitals in Europe. When people visit Albania, they soon realize that it's a country of surprising natural beauty and rich historical and cultural heritage. Within two or three hours and a few kilometers of traveling, visitors can touch grandiose Alps, wonderful valleys, torrential rivers, sandy and rocky seaside, green, blue and white landscapes. And, as you observe such generosity of nature, you can also see that the human hand has created beauty as well. The land of eagles has eternally been on borders that have marked empires and eras, while it also embodies cultures, legends, and well-known characters. Here we can find the footprints of Aeneas, the wars of Alexander the Great, the campaigns of Epirus, the schools where Roman emperors learned. Utrecht. This is, beyond doubt, one of the most elegant cities of antiquity. Its urban organization, works of art, and buildings are a clear proof of this. While it dates back to the 7th century BC, signs of much earlier settlements have been uncovered in its vicinity. It is a UN World Heritage protected site. Perhaps it's difficult to believe that 2,500 years ago, somewhere in the southeast of Albania, there was a city with more than 50,000 inhabitants. That city was one of the most important ports of the period. The Apollonian columns and cobbleways are today ancient witnesses of a magnificent city. Duras had one of the first universities in Europe. Its amphitheater is one of the biggest in the Balkans. The city was the starting point of the famous Egnatia, which is an ancient version of the 8th Pan-European Transportation Corridor. The Byzantine period gave Albania artists and works and fantastic cities such as Barat, Jiracaster and Kriya, which are today regarded as world heritage. Onufri, the mythical painter, the famous composer Kukuzeli, and Sinan, the extraordinary architect, created invaluable art and civilization heritage for posterity. Albania has a Mediterranean climate with dry and sunny weather. The mountains cause microclimates, which vary even in a range of a few kilometers. The average annual temperature is 11 to 28 degrees Celsius, with about 300 sunny days per year. This climate, together with its natural beauty and geographic variety, make Albania an attractive country for various kinds of tourism.
Mountains more than 2,000 meters high tower above inland regions of the country, and there are mountains along the coast as well. Often, they fall steeply into the sea, providing most spectacular views. There are numerous mountain resorts with quality hotels, while many opportunities remain for building more. With little investment, horse racing courses or tennis courts could be built, which would have special lure in the shadows of the nearby snow caps. The mountains provide excellent opportunities for rafting, skiing, and horseback riding. It's difficult to find another country in the region with the right conditions for such a broad spectrum of adventure and quiet tourism. The Albanian coast, which is 427 kilometers long, encompasses two seas, the Adriatic and the Ionian. There are about 120 hotels with nearly 80,000 beds on the coast. In 2006, nearly 350,000 tourists spent their holidays here. The Adriatic coast is long with populated sandy beaches. Restaurants, ferry lines, and ports are nearby. The Ionian coast has an infinite number of small bays offering total privacy. Within a few minutes, one can leave the mountains and reach the sea, finding views of rare beauty. Not surprisingly, it's called the Mediterranean's last pristine beach. Albania has been blessed with riches by nature. Under its small surface area, there are significant mineral reserves. For some, it tops the world's lists. It produces chromium, bitumen, copper, nickel, iron, coal, phosphates, limestone, marble, and others. This country is one of the richest countries in Europe regarding water resources. Eleven large rivers with 152 tributaries make up Albania's waterways. From east to west, these rivers flow powerfully, making them good for hydroelectric facilities. Most of the hydro plants are in the north of Albania, producing more than five and a half billion kilowatt hours annually. This is only 30% of the power that can be produced through Albania's water potential. The energy sector provides most of the opportunities. The construction of small and medium-sized hydro power plants is one of the areas of safe and fast investment. Increasing water power potential is one of the strongest demands in the Albanian economy and it has a guaranteed market.